at Sol Rosario coming roaring into J-Rock's hometown of Philadelphia, flew out yeah. champion. Uh, ironically, of course, Williams had won his title by beating Jarrett Hurd on Hurd's home turf. That was last year. How did Rosario do it, Abner? Walk us through. I mean, just a bigger man. Uh, just obviously with God's faith. You don't faith. think it just came down to size? No, 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 no. It, it showed, it seemed like it was that way because uh, J-Rock was hitting him with nice jabs and he wasn't, didn't seem like to do anything. Uh, right hands didn't face Rosario. He just kept walking through the punches and it seemed like he was just a bigger man that night. Obviously, I'm not taking away uh, from his craft because he showed a lot of uh, finesse. He counterpunched perfectly with that right hand over and over, which I think was what effectively hurt uh, J-Rock mm -hmm. and obviously that tremendous uppercut. But but over, overall, I, I just saw a bigger man that night. I agree, I agree with Abner wholeheartedly. I think that he was just stronger, uh, Rosario was, than, mm -hmm. than, than Julian Williams. And I think that no matter what Julian did, a great jab. Uh, Julian has great boxing ability, and he was using that great boxing ability, but it just, he, it kept, he kept coming on. And then there was a cut that happened, I think, in the, the second, second round. round. Yes. And I think that that really took Julian Williams by surprise. Mm -hmm. It really got him out of his game plan, so to speak. And then I think what we've seen happen to Julian before is his, his chin. It's mm -hmm. very susceptible. We saw it with Jamal Charlo, and now we're seeing it with Rosario. So, again, taking nothing from Rosario, we really didn't know much about him going into the fight. Yeah, he showed we, a lot. He showed, he a, he showed a lot, and, and now we, he, we and know we're he's... we're just saying the bigger man, he was strong, but he showed a great jab. Yeah. Great boxing abilities, counter punching, and again that uppercut that you know towards the end just did it all. But I mean, uh, and, and I, can, I commend J Rock for being a true champion. It, it, while he was a champion, even at, at defeat, the I'm he always handled himself was, yeah he was handled himself really well. And I'm always looking to see what what little things a guy does that separates him from the other guy. You talked about the uppercut which finished the fight. Yes. Perfect punch yeah, selection. So he did right not there. look for an overhand right or right hand or any so other. So we can say right now that this was the contender that uh, shocked the world and so on and so forth, but we can see from him throwing that uppercut, that was the punch that he chose mm -hmm. to knock out Julian Williams with. Obviously, I don't think he knew that it was going to knock him out, but he mm -hmm. said, hey, boom, it's right up the it middle. It was a stoppage. Let, let's clarify yeah, that. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was, it was a stoppage. Knock, but, but the fact that he said that that's the punch that I need to go mm -hmm. to right now, that shows his, his, his maturity in the yes. ring and his education uh, at, at this point in his career. It's such an interesting division right now. Let's take a look at the title yes. holders, some of the top contenders at 154. Rosario now has two belts, whilst Jamel Charlo holds one. Eris Landy Lara is the WBA regular champ, plus there is a handful of former champs and current contenders who could make a claim in 2020 as well. Now, J-Rock did have a rematch clause, told our Heidi Androll as well that he would enact that rematch clause and, mm. and go straight back for the belt again. Would you advise J-Rock to take that rematch right away? Well, I spoke on it before. It's his, it's his chin. The chin mm. has been the problem for him uh, and his two losses. I think that he needs to assess, uh, first off, his health, and then after that, assess- How what, do you work the chin, though? What I mean by that is, uh, do, do all of the neurological exams and things that you need Got to it. do to make sure that you're healthy, and then moving forward, what can I do to protect my chin and still be able to perform the way I need to, mm. to win fights? I wouldn't take the rematch right away, and that's good on, on Rosario because I think that he should milk that title. He should keep it as long as he can because, I mean, this division is packed with wolves. Yeah, but Julian isn't here to do Jason any, any favors, no. right? And if you look at Jarrett Hurd and what happened to him, course, he chose mm -hmm. not to take the rematch, mm -hmm. then the title slipped further mm -hmm. away. Wouldn't it be in Julian's interest to go right back in? What's he got to lose? No, no, he's got a lot to lose, those titles and the opportunity to make money. You know, um, yes, he could go against Jason, but Jason, Jason doesn't have the choice to make. It's Julian's choice. I know, to make and, 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 I, and, and I, he's saying that uh, J Rock should make the decision of whether or not he's okay to make that uh -huh. rematch right away. And I hope he doesn't, so that way Jason can go and fight other fighters, which is the That's point I'm trying to do. make, Kate. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> we got <there. laughs> The biggest fight in recent history. Fury 2, February 22nd, on pay-per-view. Thank you for watching. Well, if you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.